Why women suck at being cops. Okay, so we all know that chicks can't handle high-stress, life-or-death situations. But what else is it that makes females horrible being police officers? I don't know about the city you live in, but over here in LA, most of the female cops are assigned to bum patrol. So they basically walk around all day and tell the bums to move along because they can't loiter. Also, you'll see female cops walking around downtown, giving people directions, and talking to the old people all day long. Stuff like that. And all the hot chick cops, they get the rich districts. That's the places they're assigned to, the rich districts. Where, you know, where all the freaking millionaires live. And no crimes ever freaking happen there. So, like, most of the women who get into law enforcement, they're doing it because they're trying to make a statement. I mean, could you imagine getting a job just because you're trying to make a statement? What they're trying to do is they're trying to be like, Hey, look at me. I'm female and I can handle a man's job. You know, these chicks don't have to do it. But they're doing it because they simply want to make a statement. I mean, just that right there, they should not be in this industry because of that. Christ. So here's like another reason women suck at being cops. Women act overly confident when they're cops. When deep down, they're freaking out. That's right. These chicks took psychology courses for their criminology degrees. They know they can't show their fear to anybody. So they act overly tough, which comes off as weird. And when they do this, they can't focus on the situation, and they end up making poor decisions, you know? They gotta compensate with their attitude, because they're compensating for their lack of stature and size, and their overall lack of physical presence. So their solution? Act overly cocky and overly macho, like they're fooling anybody. Okay, so like, point number one. All females are scared to death of males. It doesn't matter if the dude's a criminal or not. That's right. All women, cop or no cop, are scared to death of males. So why are they scared of them? Well, it's because they're afraid of any man out there that they don't know is gonna be a killer, or he's gonna be a thug, or he's gonna be a lazy lowlife, or an abuser, or just anyone who will misconduct themselves towards women. Well, believe it or not, all these types of men that women fear are the types of people cops have to deal with every day. I mean, yeah, there might be an occasional female suspect every now and again, but the vast majority of troublemakers out there are men. That's right, criminal men. And we can thank women for creating male criminals in our society by holding such high standards in the mating game. Oh yeah, here's another reason why women suck at being cops. This chick right here got all butthurt, and she sued the police force. Why? Because her two male co-workers had a bet going on. And the bet was, which of the two guys could sleep with her first? I mean, look at the chick. If she can't handle men in their little locker room talk, how the heck is she gonna survive some male mugger murderer out on the street? I mean, what a soft little prick she is. Huh. So check this out. This is an actual testimonial from a male cop who was paired with a female partner. So when they came across a suspect who was being violent and hostile, she ran off and she locked herself inside the cop car while the male cop took a beating. I mean like, dang, what a piece of work that is right there. That's right, women wanna be all like, you know, hey, give me a paycheck and I'm gonna tell people to go around and, you know, do this, do that. But when something goes bad, they freak out and they go lock themselves and run away. I mean, huh, that's crazy right there. If a chick cop is one-on-one -on -one with a dude who's resisting arrest, there's a way higher chance she's going to lose a physical fight and then freak out and end up using deadly force. Study shows this happens all the time. Like this chick right here. This was hot in the news a few years ago. She freaked out and shot the poor fellow because she didn't know or was able to handle somebody physically and de-escalate the situation. I mean, like, what if a chick had to go face to face with a creepy looking pedo serial killer? Like a garland green type of guy. I mean, a hot chick crossing paths with this type of dude is every woman's worst nightmare. I mean, men can handle these type of guys. They don't care about creeps. But women? Oh my god. They'd be freaking out and they quit like the next day. The day they had to go face to face with a sucker like this. So basically, all chick cops have this fake confidence. So they studied up on their psychology, and they know how to act and pretend confident. 
when deep down, they're totally freaking out. So here's how a freakout session goes for a chick cop. Oh my god, I'm totally freaking out. I hope this guy does not have a weapon on him. I hope he does as I say. I hope he doesn't resist arrest. Okay, Emily, just stay calm. Just use a firm, deep voice. Excuse me, sir. Go ahead and have a seat for me over there. Phew, that came out good. Thank God he did what I said because, oh my God, I would have freaked out if he actually did something. Oh my gosh. I don't know, if I was ever the chief of police or like, you know, the head sheriff, I would stick all the chicks in the bad parts of town. Let's give these suckers like downtown Compton or let's like put them in Harlem or whatever the freak. No more rich areas for you, chick. You're not going to be driving around all day looking pretty. And talking to the old folks. Oh, how you doing, Mrs. Beverly? Oh, I'm pretty good. Hey, how's, how's the weather today? Oh, it's 72 degrees. I'd be sticking their butt in Compton. Downtown Compton. In the bad part of the neighborhoods, right? So, like, the only type of effective female cop on the force are these types right here. You know, the big les ones. Those are the ones who actually go out there and fight crime and they stick around for more than a month. You know, they might be there for 20 years or something like that. And they're actually out there fighting crime and stuff like that, not like cruising around the rich neighborhoods. I mean, that V has got to be one heck of a motivator because it motivates men and it motivates Les's big time. So the bottom line is, women are afraid of men they don't know because they're afraid these men might be murderers or rapists or criminals. But when they're on the force, they gotta deal with these types of dudes all day long and go face to face with them. I mean, if you had a fear of snakes, you wouldn't be a snake feeder at the reptile part of the zoo, would you? Or, if you were deathly afraid of spiders, you wouldn't be a spider exterminator. And even if you were, you'd be nervous as heck inside and you would suck at your job. <laughs> right? <laughs>